All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Discord. And I wanted to do a Nick Walker versus Tonio Burton. Who wins for the 2024 New York Pro that we're, what, seven, eight weeks out from? So things are heating up now. I see Nick Walker's trolling Tonio Burton and Tonio's trolling Nick back. It's kind of funny to watch on their Instagram. Tonio, with these recent updates of him in Brazil, with, I, I don't know if this is his coach or just, you know, his training coach, uh, Joanne, looks to be really good. A good team, something that Tonio needed, someone to push his ass in the gym hard, you know, and I think this is a good combination because what I'm seeing, the progression is ridiculous from what I'm seeing from Tonio and these updates. It's look at the Christmas tree, look at the glutes already. I say it again, Dexter Jackson 2.0. He reminds me of Dexter Jackson. It's ridiculous. So Tonio's bringing the heat, and he's doing the Arnold Classic Brazil in a couple of weeks. Tonio can do the vacuum. Can uh, Nick Walker do that vacuum? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I don't think he can. And Nick Walker has got to watch that midsection. Now, this is a recent post here from Nick Walker. Leading into the New York Pro. You know, Nick Walker always looks like Nick Walker. You know, he's always he's lean. He's ready. The midsection there, it's, a, it's a protruding a little bit. As you can see, it's sticking out, not sticking in. Not There's no vacuum happening there. Right? You can't use the excuse of, oh, well, he's eight weeks out. He's still kind of off season. But Tonio can do the vacuum right now, bro. Look at that waistline there. It looks kind of thick. Like I said... Nick Walker is the illusionist. He can make his waist look smaller than it actually is. And when he stands next to Tony O'Burton, you're going to finally get to see how much bigger Nick Walker's waistline is. Can't hide it out there on the stage. Did not Nick Walker improve his legs? Uh, I don't know. We're going to see. They kind of look the same to me. You know, is Nick Walker going to win? I don't know yet. It's too far out from the show. But who do you guys think is going to win? Look at Tony O'Burton's little waist here. Right? He doesn't have the mass that Nick Walker has, but he has aesthetics over Nick Walker. It's kind of like the Samson versus Hardy situation. You got Nick Walker here, same pose. So let's look at the routines. Okay, this was, you know, Tony O'Burton at his best at the New York Pro when he won. That title, it's a big title to win. And you're going to see right away that, you know, Tonio is going to have an issue with the size comparison standing next to Nick Walker. Okay, Nick Walker was at once the third best bodybuilder in the world. He no longer is because he missed out on that Mr. Olympia. You can't skip a year. So once you skip a year and you don't retain that placing at the Olympia, you're no longer the third best in the world. Okay, you got to go get it back. Okay. You were, you know, years ago, not anymore. So Tonio, I think, is going to be bigger than this version for sure. And that's going to be what's needed to take this guy out. Because Nick Walker holds a lot of mass. This was Nick Walker's last showing at the 2023 Arnold Classic, Ohio. You can see right there the waistline. I'm hard on Nick Walker in the waist department. Other than that, Nick Walker is a, is a freak. He has a good physique. He comes in condition. He's polished. You know, his his posing is good for the most part. He can make give the illusion of a smaller waist based on how he hits some of these shots. But the waist is very dense, very built up. I said Nick Walker I was, I was DMing Nick Walker. I said, stop training your abs. Just leave them alone. You don't need to build your abs up anymore, bro. Maybe try working on doing a vacuum, right? Because Hadi Shupa can do it. Derek Lunsford can do it. Samson Dowda now, he can do it. Can Nick Walker do it? Is Nick Walker going to be in that top four, top three lineup at the Mr. Olympia and not hit a vacuum when everyone else is? Going to have some issues there, Nick Walker. Going to have to step your vacuum game up. Because if you're the only one not hitting no vacuum in that top four, top three, going to look a little strange. Going to be an issue. 
So who do you guys have winning, Nick Walker or Antonio Burden at the 2024 New York Pro? I don't know yet. This is going to be tight. All right, guys, I love you. Catch you on the next one. Peace.